Colma is often referred to as the city of souls. It is also a city of stories. And one of the great stories is one of the greatest baseball players of all time, Joe DiMaggio at rest at Holy Cross. Joe DiMaggio has an incredible baseball story. And that baseball story continues long after his death. People come here from all over the country to pay their respects, and they also leave little trinkets of affection. Baseball bats, baseballs, mitts, photos, all left here to give tribute to one of the greatest baseball players of all time. We've talked to families who've come all the way from New York to honor his playing days with the Yankees, who said it was important to bring their family out to tell them Joe's story. Joe's story is one of many important ones that are held here at Holy Cross. Many baseball players, but many important figures in San Francisco's communal history. Just behind him is the resting place of Michael Henry de Young, namesake for the museum, the de Young Museum in San Francisco, and co-founder of the Chronicle. His family, the Tyriot family, the de Youngs, all at rest here, as well as other members of the DiMaggio family and families of so many people who have made San Francisco a unique, historic place. The DiMaggio family grew up in San Francisco in North Beach, raised in the shadow of St. Peter and Paul Church, where they worshiped and received the sacraments and where Joe's funeral was held. It was important for them to have Joe buried in a cemetery that represented the city and his Catholic faith. His parents and other brothers and sisters are also here and his plot overlooks the priest plot, paying tribute to those priests who offered the sacraments to the DiMaggio family over the years.